Hey everyone, it's Stephanie and I'm here today to do the anything but books tag. I was tagged by two people. I was tagged by Juana at Just One Reader and Dan Martin at Dan Martin Likes You. I'll link their channels down below. So I have not been wanting to do this tag because everyone that has done this tag is a super interesting person with some crazy hidden talent or interesting fact about them. And every video has made me feel like the most average show out there. Like I am the most ordinary, boring person on the planet. So I am sorry in advance. But anyway, number one is name a cartoon that you love. Currently, I am loving Bojack Horseman. I have rewatched it multiple times, which I don't do. I do not rewatch shows, but I have rewatched Bojack Horseman. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. I've really been getting into this whole adult cartoon movement because I feel like they're so much smarter than I gave them credit for. I'll admit it. I was an adult cartoon snob. But I mean, I'm watching like South Park now and South Park so much smarter than I ever gave it credit for. The humor is so gross and so base that I think they can just really get away with saying anything. And I just really love their social commentary. It's hilarious. Number two, what is your favorite song right now? I don't know. I listen to so many random things. Recently, I've made a playlist of TV theme songs so I can play them and quiz people randomly because I'm an annoying person like that. I've really been listening to the Westworld soundtrack, which is amazing. Um, if you haven't seen Westworld, you should watch it. But you know how it's this Western themed theme park. Um, a lot of the music that they have is modern songs kind of made to fit a western style so they have like house of the rising sun and painted black and some radiohead and it's really good it's a fantastic soundtrack and this is coming from someone who really doesn't listen to tv or movie scores that often i really enjoyed it what could you do for hours that isn't reading probably listen to podcasts or binge watch tv I'm pretty lazy, but I mean, if I'm listening to podcasts, I have to be doing something like cleaning or organizing. What is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? I really enjoy planning and putting together things like parties. Um, I recently did like a big murder mystery masquerade. I mean, a lot of people helped me, but I did most of the murder mystery part and the kind of putting that whole thing together. I personally do not have the personality to like MC an event or be like a hostess. I definitely enjoy being more the behind the scenes person, <laughs> um, but I, I really enjoy doing that. I love putting things together like that. What is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? Currently, I have been interested in the history of organized crime in Rhode Island. Is that unnecessarily specific enough? Um, and this interest has been brought on by a podcast that I've been listening to called Crime Town. It's a Gimlet podcast and it's about the history of organized crime in America. But this first season is about Providence, Rhode Island, and it is amazing. I, I thought it was fake for like the first couple weeks and I was still really interested. Um, you can imagine how crazy it was when I found out that this was like a real like investigative podcast. Just the stuff that they talk about is mind blowing and just learning about um, the role of organized crime and government and Buddy Sienza and Raymond Patriarca is insane and I love it. What is something unusual you know how to do? Um, I don't know, I'm double jointed and like kind of flexible but not like in a hot way, like in a gross way. <laughs> like I can bend my elbow backwards or I can do this thing that always grosses people out. Or like Ta-da! How grossed out are you right now? I don't know, that always that always really grosses people out. Um, name something you've made in the last year. I've made videos, guys. Is that not enough for you? What is your most recent personal project? My most recent personal project is my husband gave me real flowers for Valentine's Day, like potted plants, and my project is to keep them alive. Tell us something you think about often, possibly while staring out of a window. I can tell you right now, if I am looking out of a window, I am making a mental list of landscaping projects that need to happen as soon as the weather gets good. If I'm looking out of a window, you know, trips to Home Depot are being planned. 
give us something that's your favorite, but make it something oddly specific. Not like your favorite food, but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and forgot to eat. Not something that happens, by the way. Or, you know, something like that. Um, I guess I like Swedish pancakes because I associate them with my husband being off work and I associate them with like family time, I guess. Is that, does that work? I don't know. Lastly, say the first thing that pops into your head. Raymond Patriarca. That's literally because I was just talking about that though, so I'm sorry for being boring. Um, so now to tag some people. And then tag some people I want to learn some stuff about. So I'm tagging Kate Howe. I am tagging Rebecca at the Book Nester. I am tagging Olive at a Book Olive. I don't know if she's been tagged yet or not. I am tagging uh, Stephanie at Time to Read. And I am tagging Brie Hill. So all you guys are tagged. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!